it. I did fix it. Yay me! Is it one o'clock yet? Almost. All right, so here we are again to do another Facebook Live. And uh, yeah, so today we're gonna be doing a patch. So when you see me looking to the side, that's just my iPad so I can read comments. Turn off the volume so I don't hear myself talking twice. That would be annoying. Okay, we have people watching. Yay! So, flood the list. Oh, you always come and watch my videos. I like that. Thank you. So, we're going to wait till a couple people, a couple more people uh, jump online. Hopefully, we'll get a couple of viewers. Um, so, Johnny at uh, Mofid is doing a great, um, well, they're always really good. He's doing um, a promotion where if you do any order with him through for watching this Facebook Live, um, he's giving away a, f um, a box of 50 face masks and a shield. And, uh, yeah, because we're all tired of this COVID crap. We all are. Um, but reality states that we're going to be wearing these for a while still so it's good to have those extra spare ones in your bag or in your car or, you know because you can't go shopping without it these days anyhow it's, it's what time is it now it's one o'clock so i'm not sure how many people are online here so we got linda oh not linda linda hi linda Lid lida what an interesting name i like that it's like linda but lida i like that let's take a look here Turn on notifications. I'm not sure what that means. We got Flau de Lis. So I'm clear, Flau de Lis. Where are you from? Because I see you. You always uh, chime in. I appreciate that. Um, so, anyways, uh, should we get started? I don't know. Let's get started. So today the oh I got itchy nose. Uh, today the patch we're gonna do is called drink, drink, drunk. Oh, and someone's at the door. Of course. One second. Excuse me. Well, that was awkward. Sorry about that. Uh, so we have um, pest control. We don't have any pests, but they come around the house and anyways, they make sure everything is all clear and so we don't have pests. Sorry about that. Okay, so where was I? We're going to do this patch called Drink, Drink, Drunk. Um, this was digitized by SewerPunch.com. And this is not meant to offend anybody. Um, I've got a really skewed sense of humor. Um, so I th thought this was cute and funny. Um, so what we're going to need to do a patch, there's um, a couple things you need. We obviously need stabilizer. So you can have good, better, best. So let's start with good. Um, you would need, for stabilizer, you need either some tearaway. Not the best idea because at the end you'd get little fuzzy bits around your, your patch. So this is not recommended, but if it's all you had, you can make it work. Option two better would be some wash away stabilizer. So this is H2O gone. So this would be better than the tear away. Um, so this would work quite well if you don't have the best option. So the best option I found is this stuff over here. And this is called Badge Master. Um, so what you would do with this one here is you would hoop it tight into your, your hoop. And you can see it's like drum tight. It's, um, you can just play the drums. So this would be the best option. But if you don't have Badge Master, you can definitely use the H2O Gone. Um, so the first thing you're going to need is to get your image. So I went ahead and tried to save some time. Oh, my heavens. 
So what I first did is I actually took some quilt. You can use whatever fabric you have. Um, you can use felt, you can use twill, you can use anything that is not stretchy, basically. And so the, you're going to want to do is you're going to embroider your image with the border, okay? So this is very important. Once the, so um, once you've embroidered your image, you can either, if you have a cutting machine, you can cut your shape already to size. You can cut it in the hoop like an applique. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show some people don't have all these little fancy gadgets. So you just take your image and what you want to do is you want to cut just beside the line. Not inside the line, but just beside the line. So let's do that now. So I forgot to mention, ooh, when you're uh, embroidering, you want to have some no-show mesh at the back. So you get your fabric and no-show mesh sandwiched together. Uh, so when you're, because you need some stabilizer, so I would recommend the no shell mesh, this one, it'll be fantastic. Now we go back to cutting out your image. So. This doesn't take very long. And this is a pretty simple pattern, which is just a square. So it's going to be quite easy. Um, okay, I'm also going to say this in French. Uh, pour les personnes qui font les patchs, vous avez besoin du matériel, ça c'est du twill. Vous avez besoin du water soluble, uh, comme du H2O gone, ou du tearaway, ou badge master. Uh, vous prenez du um, votre matériel avec du no-show mesh. Vous faites la broderie sur votre matériel et vous coupez à l'entour votre, votre image. Okay, so I'm cutting here. Doo, doo, doo. So try to cut as close as you can to the line. Assez coupé aussi proche que la ligne que vous voulez. What I used for this thread this time, I did something really cute and fun. I actually used, uh, for the pink, it's actually glow-in-the-dark thread. I just, I love glow-in-the-dark thread. Okay. So, voyez que j'ai coupé en entour de ma patch. So you can see I've cut around the patch. So the next thing you want to do is you're going to hoop Either your your H two O on, or in my case, the badge master. You just hoop this up, and we'll bring that to the machine. And you'll want to sew the outline directly onto either your H two O on or your water soluble. Uh, en français, quand vous êtes fini couper votre image, vous mettez la machine, vous faire un outline du projet. Directement sur le Badge Master ou le, um, le H2 will go on, je ne sais pas c'est quoi, quoi en français. So here we go. So you can see here, I'm just doing the outline of the, of, of the square. Okay. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I need some see this I'm gonna tilt my screen down so what I'm gonna use now is some um, adhesive spray I'm gonna spray inside my hoop here 
And then I'm going to stick my patch into the square, trying to match up the stitch lines from the previous image to this one. Super easy. Easy peasy. Okay. You can see that. So I just stuck it down there. Okay, here's the back side. Now what the machine's gonna do, it's gonna do a tack down. It's going to hold this image down. I'm gonna go back to the machine. down the patch. And once, and then your last step is just going to finish off the satin stitch around. So it's cool. Look. Now you can do this a different color if you wanted. You can do like pink like the other one. <clears throat> Entirely up to you. I'm just going to do black just to keep it simple. <coughs> Excuse me. Close lock. There you go. Out there. Okay. Alors, euh, on a des Français aussi. So maintenant, la machine a fait le tag down pour tenir l'image sur le matériel. Là, ça fait obtenir le la bordure. So it's just tag, it's just tag down. Now it's just finishing the border around. Um, I'm going back to messages here. It's hard to see. I can't see how the messages work on here. I don't know. I have to scroll this quick. So, the questions on here we got. Hi, Lana. Hi, Juliette. Bonjour, Marcel. Joanne, me from BC. Hello. Um, Michel Etier. Bar McKenzie. So there doesn't seem to be any questions. Um, so this is going to finish off really, really quick. You can get this image on morefield.ca's website. You can get this image gratis sur le site de morefield.ca. Can you hear me? M'entendez-vous? Je ne sais pas. So, le... So the prochain project, the next project, I think we're going to do something Easter related. I'm thinking maybe a 3D, like a gift box. Um, maybe you can hide like an Easter egg inside or something or, I don't know. Um, let's go see where, where it's at here. Almost done. Presque fini. Um, any questions? Any questions? Oh, so I'm not sure about you guys, but I need a hairdresser. This is driving me bonkers. And not just that, it's getting limp and it's really dry in my house and my hair is just going crazy.
is the badge master thicker than your regular water oh yes it's way thicker um So this here is that the water soluble. You wouldn't use this as stabilizer because it's just not. <coughs> excuse me. It's just not strong enough. This you would use um, for embroidering on top of like um, towels or anything with a pile. You wouldn't use this as an actual stabilizer. Um, this here is the H two O gone. So this here, you can use this for, for patches as well. This will work well. Um, I just, this was for, the Badge Master, I just ordered it for the very first time a couple weeks ago because I wanted to try it out. Um, and I love it. Um, I really do. It does smell like vinegar though. I'm not sure why it smells like vinegar, but it just does. Okay, so. Like guess someone asked a question if the water, if the badge master is thicker than water soluble. Quelqu'un demande si le badge master est plus épais que le water soluble. La réponse est oui. Ça c'est très mince. This is um, and ça c'est plus plus épais. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah. So this here is actually quite strong. Um, let's unhoop it here. So once you've embroidered all that, and all you'd have to do is, and then you would just, it takes a little bit of pressure, and then it would just rip right off. Can you see that? So other than my couple of little wayward threads around here that you would just trim off, you can see that it has a nice edge. And if you had, um, if you used uh, the tear away, then you would have little fuzzy bits at the end, and that wouldn't look so good. But if you had the water soluble, so basically the H2 will gone, I should say, sorry, then you would just wet the edge and then it would disappear. But you'd have a nice clean edge. So this is how I do my patches. Um, so at this point here, you can either sew it on to your object or you can buy some, where did I put it? Oh, here we go. This stuff here, this is basically called, oh, what do they call it? I think it's just iron-on patch material. It's basically, um, H, it's like um, heat and bond, but on steroids. It's like really sticky. So you would actually put it on there, cut a piece, iron it on, peel off the paper backing, and then iron onto your project. So this is, you don't have to use that. Um, I would recommend it because then it would seal your edges. Um, pour les personnes françaises, <coughs> quand vous utilisez le, le badge master, ça s'enlève, ça garde les bordures bien claires, bien, bien propres. Même chose si vous utilisez le, le haut gang, vous mettez l'eau, ça va être complètement dissolver dans l'eau, ça, ça va laisser les, les, uh, la bordure propre, puis beau. À, à ce point ici, il faut soit que vous faites la couture sur votre projet, ou vous mettez du... Um, Je vais montrer l'autre projet, l'autre stuff, ceci. Ça, c'est comme du heat and bond, ça s'appelle du uh, iron on patch. C'est comme du heat and bond, mais c'est vraiment, vraiment, vraiment collant. Ça marche super bien. Uh, I'm going to go back to notes here, if there's any questions. <clears throat> Hi, I find sometimes when you do the tag down stitch, it misses the patch. If I cut large, you see it on the outside. Yeah, so, Omnic... Um, what you want to do is you just want to make sure that when you're putting your patch on there, that's why I cut just slightly outside the black line. Um, that way, um, it's it's going to cover. But, and so then you have that black line showing. And if you place that black line right directly on top of the black line you just stitched onto your badge master or your H2 will gone then you should have a perfect fit if you're off a bit then you will have that issue 
The other option, what you can do is, um, I'm not sure if you have software, but you can theoretically make a wider border, like maybe make your satin stitches a little bit wider. Like this is probably one and a half mils, maybe do like 1.75, that might help your issue. Your other option is you can leave it in the hoop and treat it like an applique where you would take your applique scissors and then cut as close to the line as you can. And then the tack down will hold, uh, your image is already down there. You, you know that your fabric is covering, but you just gotta make sure you cut close to the line, not way out there. So like when you do your satin stitches, you wanna make sure it gets caught underneath your image. <clears throat> Hope that helps. Um, is a badge master thicker than it's where I answered that question? Um, bonjour, Nathan de Castillo. Quelle machine de broderie répondez-vous si vous prenez de faire nos propres? Bonjour, oui, on Nathan de Castillo. Quelle machine de broderie répondez-vous qui permet? Okay, so pour la question, um, c'est qui qui demande ça? Ta -ta -ta. So it's asking about the sewing machine that I would recommend. Okay, JD. Pour une machine de broderie, uh, si vous prenez une machine, faire ça, vous avez plus que une grandeur de hoop. Um, vous voulez au moins une machine qui va faire un 5 par 7. So the question was, uh, what kind of sewing machines are I recommend for, for embroidery? I would say get a machine that does at least a 5 by 7 and or has multiple hoop options. Um, because you will find if you only have a machine that has four by four, you will quickly outgrow it and you'll want another one. So JD's, dans la question, um, prenez une machine qui fait plus qu'un 4x4. Because si la machine fait seulement 4x4, uh, tu vas vous rapidement grandir dehors de tes besoins. So a 5 par 7 ou un hoop, une machine qui fait plus qu'une grandeur de hoop, ça sera... Ma préférence. Um, so, da, da, da. the sand stitch is how wide and dense? Um, I didn't measure this one. I didn't digitize this one, but hold on. So, it's a one. This is about um, one and a half millimeters of... Um, of satin stitch on this one here. How do you make the patches on and on? Okay, so Lillian Howe. Okay, so um, to do an iron on patch, you would need some stuff like this. This is called, um, I don't know, I think it's just called uh, iron on patch material. It would be the same thing as heat and bond. So what you would do is you would take your patch and you would cut out a piece of your iron-on, like so. So one side is, is shiny and the other side is matte. So you would take the shiny side to the wrong side of your patch. We can just do it now. I guess I don't, my iron is not hot. So then you would iron this on the back. Once this is, gets ironed on, this paper backing peels off. And then, so you wanna make sure that your edge will be clear, obviously. I didn't do a great job cutting around here. <clears throat> so you would, um, you would just, I guess we could iron it on real quick. I, do we want, do people want me to show you how to iron this on? Let me just check here. Called thermal adhesive. Ah, perfect. Thank you, my Nick. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, so there we go. So this is, yeah, it's called uh, thermal adhesive. That makes sense. So you would take the shiny side to the back side, iron on, and then once it's ironed on, you just trim it around. You would peel off the back and then you would iron on again. When you iron on something from the front, always make sure you cover your embroidery because otherwise the iron can melt the stitches. Um, so that's something to keep aware of. Um, for the 
uh, live video of the mask that Johnny is giving. Uh, when you do an order, any order, on the bottom before you check out the bottom, there's a comments box. And you just write um, face mask, um, Facebook live. And then when you do an order, they will throw in the face mask and the shield for you in your order for free. Um, so yeah, I love supporting this company. I love their products. I love their customer service. I love how quickly they ship. Um, I just, I just love everything. I, I know I've said this before, but I love how the boxes come as a used box from the LCBO or whatever. I like the fact that they're recycling. Um, I'm huge into recycling. I love to reuse stuff as much as I can. As you saw earlier, I don't even take my material out of my, <laughs> out of my, uh, my hoops because I find that if I cut, um, if I cut my images to all my hoops, um, I find I'm wasting. So I'd like to keep the fabric in my hoop. And when I take it out, I save that bottom, whatever I didn't use, I, I save that edge from my next project. So as much as I can reduce, reuse, recycle, that's what I'm going to do. But um, anywho, any ideas? Oh, I also got another fun project to do. I think I'm going to hold off till July. I'm not sure that's too long. I'm not sure if I can hold off that long. Uh, I wanted to... I, I got Johnny to uh, digitize a really cute maple leaf um, and out of 3D foam. So I think that'll be a fun video. I probably won't be able to hold off till July because it's just too cute. Anyways, I'm going to go back to messages here. Uh, super twill. I love super... Yeah, so the material I had, I was super twill. I love it. I love it. And so I guess that's everything. So hopefully you enjoyed this uh, patch making session. And if you have any questions, feel free to shoot them my way. So finished project looks like this. Uh, drink, drink, <laughs> drink. It still makes me laugh. It, and I said again, this is not meant to insult everyone or be, um, if you find it offensive, then don't make it. But um, I think this could, I think it's just funny. So hopefully we'll, um, see each other next video i'm not sure what that's going to be but something easter related i think because i think that's i'm just i promise i'm never gonna do anything covid related like i just i'm so sick of covid so anyways thank you for stopping in i appreciate you watching and uh next time take care bye